Most of us worry about fires, falling trees, or flood water damaging our homes. But a much bigger threat is termites, accounting for $5 billion in damage every year. In tonight's Fighting for You, Cynthia Gould brings us a home checkup that could save you big money and heartache. Cynthia? Well, Brenda, first, just take a walk around your house, pick up any wood, limbs that you see, and be sure they're at least 10 feet away from the house. Also, fix any dripping faucets and those downspouts and AC drip lines, make sure they are directed away from the home. We always want to be looking for any type of debris around the house in a crawl space home. Nathan Naylor with Stark Exterminators says the South with our warm, wet climate is littered with termites right now. A lot of people think with brick homes, oh, I, I won't get termites. Well, those are, those are some of the houses they go to first. He's seen infestations in sheetrock, baseboards, attics, even old stumps. They'll just come out of that stump at some point, and you may see it may look like 100,000 termites. Naylor says people often mistake flying ants for termites. Ants look different with segmented bodies. He showed us the Centricon baiting system used to eliminate the colonies. They just go through this like Swiss cheese. Attorney Tom Campbell specializes in termite lawsuits. He says pay close attention to your policy. And you want to see that it says in there that it pays for a retreatment and repair. He adds it should say full comprehensive treatment, not defined treatment. He also adds if the chemicals are applied and reapplied as needed, you shouldn't have to worry, but... Most of the time, consumers never know they have a termite infestation until thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage is done. He and Naylor both say make sure your annual termite inspection takes at least 45 minutes. If they are not dirty from being in your crawl space and sweating from being in your attic, they haven't done an adequate termite inspection. And by the time you see a swarm of termites, the damage is likely already done. Some other things to look for, rippling in the paint, holes in sheetrock, also little mud tunnels or dirt in your home in spots where it shouldn't be. Fighting for you, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340. Now calling